Welcome back everybody. Today I have decided to wear a shirt. So the topic of today's video guys is going to be how does the understanding of anxiety specifically help you? And I wanted to read a little bit uh, from my book again because I think it perfectly paints the situation. And uh, I just like reading my book. I'm just getting a little bit excited about it. So for those that don't know me out there in the world, I have a severe uh, anaphylaxis to nuts. And I also have asthma as well. So this is a, a part of the book uh, where I was just talking about how my, my mindset shift has, has helped me deal with those situations. And it reads. So yes, whilst I have never enjoyed being severely allergic to nuts, bearing in mind I'm also asthmatic and allergic to pollen, I have come to terms with it and it is as much a part of me as the toenails of my feet. I can look back now and see that my anxiety issues with my allergies came from an inability to accept uncertainty. In understanding these concepts, I now perceive an, an, an allergic reaction like breaking a leg or getting a parking ticket. Although they are less serious, they are no more in my control than being allergic to nuts. We have to accept there are things we cannot change. If you break a leg, you accept the consequences. If you cop a parking fine, you pay the ticket. If I eat nuts, I go to hospital. It's important to take the time learning about how anxiety affects you. What does it tell you? What do you do because of it? When is it worse? When is it manageable? Do certain people trigger your anxious thoughts? Ask yourself why. Get to know yourself on this deep level. The more you understand, the better prepared you'll be. Get to know how your mind works. Diary writing doesn't just have to be about emotions and events. So I wanted to take a bit of time to talk about that last line, guys, and it read, diary writing doesn't just have to be about emotions and events. Diary writing and gratitude writing I will be talking about next week because they have made a profound impact on my life. But I obviously today wanted to talk about how the concept of anxiety and now what we know is the fact that it's an emotion and it can rise and it can fall depending on your external and inter internal environment, how that concept and that understanding can help deal, help you deal with your own anxiety. I had a chat with a follower this week and we discussed how I believe that anxiety can be cured. What I mean by that is that anxiety, the disorder can be cured. Because anxiety is an emotion, we all have anxiety and we all have worry and we all have stress and that will never change. But the spiraling, the physical anxious symptoms, those, those panicky feelings and those intrusive thoughts, that can be cured and that comes with a mindset shift. I think learning about what anxiety is and the fact that it can rise and fall has been a major contributor to my recovery because when I do get worried these days, and I'm using the word worried because I'm implying that it's a, it's a, it's a shortened situation, anxiety I feel is like is a, is a chronic thing. When I get worried, I understand what's going on. I, I have a, ve a very good understanding of how of who I am and how I interact with the world and how I interact with different things. So for example, with my public speaking fear, I don't call it a fear anymore because fear to me is something that stops you from what you want to do. I still have a fear, I still have those, those anxious thoughts, but they go away almost instantaneously because I'm just able to push through, I'm actually able to laugh at them and, and walk straight ahead and, uh, and, and speak, to, speak to crowds because it's something that I love and I'm not going to let that stuff hold me back. So by understanding when your anxiety rises and falls, you can learn to be prepared for it. Because I know that when I eat nuts, my body is going to, to, to react negatively and I'm going to get those intrusive thoughts and, 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 and anxious physical symptoms, which obviously is somewhat rational in that example. But because I know that's going to happen, I can put appropriate measures in place so I don't spiral and I don't get severely, severely anxious and panicky. Last week, or I guess in the last video I told you, or I asked you to write down a series of fears that you have based on irrationality and rationality. And I think it's a good idea for you to understand and look at your irrational fears and think about what you could do and what you could prepare and how you could prepare for them if you knew they were coming on. So if you're someone that, for example, has social anxiety. Now, I had a lot of social anxiety as well. Anxiety is this perpetuation and it, 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 it's to, it tends to spread it, it tends to spread, sorry, in, uh, into all aspects of life. So I absolutely had social anxiety. But if you now know that you have social anxiety and you understand what anxiety is in terms of its rising and falling based on events, the next time you go to a party, you can prepare for this. So you know that 
you're gonna get nervous talking to person A. You know that you're gonna hate feeling by yourself. So what are some things you can do to put into place so that you don't get as anxious as you probably would? Now, for my social anxiety, I would always make sure that when I was trying to push through the fear, I would almost become comfortable in that fear. So I'm gonna talk a lot about how becoming comfortable in the uncomfortable can just make your life a million times better. I would make sure that when no one was talking to me or I went to get a drink by myself or I went to get some food, I kind of slowed down. I didn't race, I didn't rush back to where I was because I wanted to get used to being uncomfortable. And by pushing through that fear and telling myself, no, I'm totally in control. I'm gonna let these thoughts come about. I don't care. I'm, uh, I'm gonna be the happiest I can. It forces your anxiety to, to, to go away. It, it truly does because you're telling yourself, hey, there's no reason for me to be anxious here, so why the fuck am I anxious? Why, is there, why, is, why am I anxious? You start to ask yourself these questions. Look, the, uh, it, it's an amazing feeling. I also wanna talk about one of the, the most amazing experiences that happened to me right under this bed, which was uh, when I came to terms with my fear of ghosts, and I will talk about that. Trust me, it's a, it's a good one, it's a nail biter. When you force back against the fear, and you, you let it just consume you, you, you become one with it, and it's, it's an amazing feeling how quickly that goes away. I remember the first time that it happened to me, I kind of had this thought where I was very, very scared, very, very scared, thinking the worst was gonna happen, and then I thought immediately, oh, what do I have to do tomorrow? And I knew that when I started thinking about the fear again, I'd conquered it because if I was in any real danger, my mind wouldn't sidetrack like that. But by letting the fear consume me and by being a part of the fear, I, uh, I, I learned how to, I guess, control it and it was an amazing feeling. So guys, let's recap again. The understanding of anxiety lets you become better prepared for when it rises and falls in your own situations and environments. If you are someone who gets scared of public speaking, now you know that and now you know what anxiety is. It rises and falls, it's an emotion, it's an evolved sense. When you walk up to the platform, speaking in front of hundreds of people, you know that you're gonna get anxious. And when you know you're gonna get anxious, it doesn't hit you by surprise. So you let the fear just come about you, it's just like nothing else, it's all good, we all get fear, we all get worried, and you get better at pushing through that. Guys, next week I'm gonna be talking about diary writing and gratitude writing. That stuff relates a lot to logically processing anxiety, and I'm gonna share with you some of my diary entries from when I was, uh, when I was going through the worst of it, because I really think it helps um, with you to understand what, uh, what goes on in other people's minds, and um, the similarities and the differences that you may have as well. Guys, please uh, like and subscribe. I'm absolutely loving doing this and uh, I want to keep pumping out videos for you. And I really want to get it out there to the masses like I, I always keep saying. So get on board. Alrighty, until next week. Bye-bye.